So now that all six LED uh, matrix subsections have been eight of eight by eight LEDs, uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect four of them. So we're gonna make one like this, which is gonna be eight by sixteen, and we're gonna make another one that's also gonna be eight by sixteen. So in order to do that, take your jig, place it down, take your LED matrix subsection, and then put it in with four LEDs sticking in like that. And take another one and put it over the top like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and solder where these uh, two sections connect. And then make one uh, large one, and then make another one. So we have two large panels and then we have two small ones at the end of this step. So at the end of this step you should have two large panels which will be 8 by 16 LEDs and you'll have two small panels that are going to be 8 by 8 LEDs each. So now comes the part where we have to trim all of these uh, connections to make these uh, panels a little bit more compact. So what you want to do is take your wire cutters and we're going to trim down these leads uh, quite a lot. So we're going to trim them down to about this length. We're going to leave maybe 0.2 of an inch between uh, the last LED and the wire here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off all of these. And now we want to trim off these side LEDs and you want to trim these pretty much flush with this LED. So what I like to do is just take the wire cutters here, push it up to LED and trim them. And do that for all of these LEDs. And once you've went ahead and trimmed all these LEDs, you want to make sure and double check each and every one of these connections that you don't have a, an LED hanging. So you want to go ahead and uh, check each and every one of these uh, LEDs on the side and down here too to make sure that the connections are still intact between the LED on the side and the rest of the connections. And up here, let me zoom in here. So in this particular LED, down here, there's a little gap between this uh, wire that's coming off the LED and the wires that are connecting this way. So I'm going to go ahead and patch that up with a little bit of solder. Okay, so this uh, large section is done. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other large one and the two smaller subsections. So now that all these LED subsections have been trimmed off on the side here, we're going to go ahead and assemble these into one big matrix. So we're going to take our little template, and then we're going to go ahead and put our long matrices in here. So like just like that. Uh, you want to make sure that none of these uh, LEDs that you cut are bridging over to the next side. So what I mean is, uh, if you look over here, so if you will notice on my LED matrix, all of these uh, LEDs on the left side are separate from the LEDs on the right side, and none of the uh, bent pins, bent leads on the LEDs intersect with the ones on the right side. So you want to make sure that they are kept separate, because if they connect, you're going to have a lot of problems, and that's uh, not good. So you want to watch out for that. So what we want to do is take your hot glue and add a dab of glue uh, between these two LEDs over here. And I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to go work my way all the way down. And we want to uh, glue these banks of LEDs together uh, to form section of 16. So we have 8 and 8 and that makes 16 when you add them up together into one big uh, matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and between each gap here, notice we have uh, two sections, between each gap I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue. 
you want to add the hot glue when your LEDs are uh, inside the template. Obviously you don't want to add them here because they can separate and drift and all kind of, kinds of uh, ugly stuff can happen. So for the two larger sections I'm just gluing them together like this. You don't want to get too much hot glue so that it seeps down into the uh, template. You want to add just enough hot glue to glue these LEDs together without bridging the gap to the uh, template. And that's okay if you do. You could uh, kind of uh, work it out of it uh, when it's time to remove this matrix. But just uh, just don't pour that much glue or else you're going to have a heck of a lot of problems uh, pulling this matrix out of the template. So I went ahead and glued the top eight LEDs and now I waited for the glue to cool. It took maybe about two minutes to uh, let the glue cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and push these LEDs out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of the LEDs that have not been glued. And again I'm just going to glue them together. So now that all of these LEDs have been glued, I'm going to go ahead and pop out this matrix. So we have one large matrix. And we also have two smaller matrix subsections that have not been glued. So we're going to go ahead and glue these two together. And it's the same process. And once again, this is all dried up. And we can just go ahead and pop this section out. All right. So right now we have kind of uh, a big matrix and a smaller matrix. So now I'm going to show you how to join these two together. So what you want to do is point uh, the, uh, all these LED pins up. So uh, all these LEDs are bent this way and they're all soldered pointing up. So we, what you want to do is set that up. That'll be the top of your matrix. So what you want to do is put four LEDs into the LED frame. So what you want to do is put four uh, LEDs into the frame with uh, this side pointing up. And we're going to take this uh, LED assembly and we're going to put four LEDs here. Alright, so again, pointing up. Make sure these point up. If you don't have them pointing up, you might have a couple problems uh, in the later steps. So make sure these are pointing up and these are all pointing up. So what we're going to do is kind of set this aside. And the LED matrix kit comes with these pieces of plastic. So these pieces of plastic are meant to uh, fit in these little holes, or you only need a couple of these. Um, so basically you cut this piece of plastic and you lay it in here and glue it into place so that these uh, two subsections become one big subsection. So uh, in order to do that, what you need to do is first peel off any protective uh, tape or any uh, film if there's some on yours. Okay, and what you're going to do is with scissors, you're going to cut very thin strips of plastic. So you might want to cut strips of plastic that are about 0.2 inches in width because they need to lay in here and the width between these is around 0.225 inches. So you want to cut a strip of plastic that's about 0.2 inches in order to fit in here. I'm going to eyeball it but you might want to measure it. So now that these are all cut up and they are around, oh, a little less than 0.2 inches, that's okay. So what you want to do is you want to cut up sections that are 1.5 inches in length. And the length isn't too critical, you know, 1.5, 1. whatever. You could go all over the place and it'll still be fine. The length isn't too critical. It's just that uh, the longer you make them, the sturdier the connections tend to be. So I'm just going to chop these in half because the length isn't too critical. Alright, so now I have a bunch of these guys. 
Now, what you want to do is just kind of glue them into place like this. So I have my strip and I have it down here. So I'm going to apply glue here, here, and I'm going to glue this strip into place. Uh, the number of these doesn't really matter. If you wanted to, you could put one in between each one of these uh, spaces, but eh, it wouldn't really do too, it wouldn't make too much of a difference. So if you want, you could fill in all the spots in between the LEDs like this, but I tend not to. Just a matter of choice. So what you want to do with these is lay them in here in between the LED subsections and like that. So they're in there, they're uh, inside. Here we have the plastic strip in between the LEDs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them into place like this. So, so what you want to do is take your hot glue and apply it all over your plastic strip. Careful not to burn yourself and then just set it down in between the LEDs just like that. And that'll keep the LEDs glued down and together. And I'm gonna put another two here and, and three on this side and that should be enough. Okay, so these two subsections are glued together and we can pop the whole assembly out. And ta-da! So here we have a fully assembled matrix. So now what we need to do is connect this matrix to the LED driver boards. And which is what we'll do next.